Hi, it's Coach Dale here. We're at the Fairground Frenzy for cross country season. It's our very first race of the year. Uh, all this COVID stuff has made it a very, very interesting year. We've had to put a lot more work into this than we normally have. Coaches passes, parking passes, temperatures taking. We're having to do waves. We've had to make boxes bigger and farther apart. Um, but we are just super thrilled to be out here with our kids this, this weekend. And uh, hopefully things will continue to go well and we'll be able to have a full season. So for our, our races, we're doing them in waves. We're allowed to have 100 right now in each race per division. And it's gonna be, I think it's 40, 40, and 20. We're sending them off every five minutes and we have an amazing timer, Mr. Adam Friend, who is able to do that so that we can get their times correct. And so, a lot of work, a lot of fun. I'm the sports editor at newspaper uh, in Campbellsville now. I used to work at the News Enterprise. I'm here covering my first class for media of the season. As Sam said, it is very weird. Very, very weird. They're doing tapered starts, two groups going off five minutes after each other. It's bizarre. <laughs> I have no idea, no other word to explain it, but bizarre. But they're running, they're having a season. Who knows how long it'll last, but they're out here. Hi everyone, this is uh, Coach Pennington with Central Harden. Uh, we're out here today for the Fairgrounds Frenzy. This is our 10th, 10th year? Yeah, I had, to, I had to think there. I've been out here for so long, this just seems like a second home to me. But uh, we have a great day of racing. Uh, we're following the new protocols uh, that the KHSAA has listed out, so we're racing a little bit shorter than normal. Today for our high school and varsity JV and high school races, we're racing 2,500 meters, where normally we'd be racing 5,000. And we're limited at 40 athletes per wave. So we just uh, sent our second wave of varsity girls, and uh, next up is going to be the varsity boys at 9.30 this morning. Uh, but it's a great day. we got an overcast, we got a little fog. Everything is going to be a little bit cool, so we think uh, this is going to be a great day of racing. We have, we had to limit our amount of teams coming in uh, due to the restrictions and stuff, and we have restrictions on the spectators and everything. But you know, the, the good thing about it is we're out here racing. We're back to doing some sports, which I think everybody's thankful for. Uh, we finally made it to this point, so uh, I appreciate everybody watching this and uh, giving a, giving their, all the teams a little love. You know, because this is uh, this is a great day for us to get back to doing something that we all love and the kids are getting active, even though it's not everything we want it to be, but it is something. We're loaded up with a bunch of seniors. We have, well, on the roster right now, between the boys and girls, right around 15 seniors. So this is our biggest senior class that I've ever had uh, for cross country. So this is a lot different for us, but it's also great. You know, uh, I'm glad that we're able to race this season compared to what we had last year with track, uh, because at least the seniors are getting to do something already. Where there's seniors in track, they never got that one final race. At least if whatever happens from here, at least we can say we've got one race in. But you know, I'm hopeful that you know this is the start and we're gonna continue forward from this point on. But you know, I'm really hoping we have a good season with these seniors. I got some great seniors on the boys' side and the girls' side that I really expect to lead our team this year. Uh, you know, we still wanna see what they're gonna do by the time state rolls around. So it's a little bit early to, to kind of give them too many accolades, but I'm expecting to see some good good performances today, especially with it being shorter. This is really a, uh, really a sprint race. We're only doing a mile and a half for the high school and mi middle school. So it's, this is a good opportunity for some of them to really shine and show what they could do. And well, I've got a, I've got a couple of hungry eighth, eighth graders that are coming up and I've actually started my first ever middle schooler and varsity today. So I'm really, really excited about that, that he's, he's looking so well. And on the girls' side, we have a fabulous young lady. Her name is Isabella, Isabella Day. She's a seventh grader. Boy, but she's a competitor. And, you know, I got a, Riley Raff Snyder. She's another one. And, of course, we have my senior girls there. It's going to be leading the way. Hannah Lewis. Uh, we have uh, uh, Lexi Summit, uh, Grace Sutherland. You know, those are just some of the girls that are coming back. Makala Tilly. Uh, keep going through the Megan McGuffin. So, you know, pulling all these girls' names out of my head. I don't normally coach the girls all the time, but some of these ones have been running with my boys, you know, just because they've been pushing it so far. So it's it's nice to see. We'll see how they excel right here because now we got the first wave finishing now. So, you know, we're going to – I should be seeing my kids coming in. They started in the second wave, so we should start seeing some purple. So we're, we're a little bit different today. We wore what we call our pod shirts. So if you're looking for us out there today, you're not going to see the traditional – 
yellow or blue that we would be wearing for our uniforms. We're a different color, so some of the girls are going to be in a orange. Uh, some of them are going to be in a in a purple. Same thing with the guys; they're going to be purple, red. Uh, I'm trying to think of the other pod colors that I've got. I got a teal, blue, and uh, we got a pink. So they're, they're going to be a little bit different if you're looking for Central Harden. You're not going to be able to find us quite as easily, but there are pod shirts uh, that we wear every day at practice so we can keep keep separation in our groups and stuff. So look for us on the film. Uh, we appreciate everybody, the community support. I really want to say thank you to the Harden County Fairgrounds. They've been exceptional, you know, for this partnership that we've had out here for many years to let us make this our home. Uh, you know, they've been over backwards to help us do what we do out here. And to the fair board and the Hardin County Fairgrounds, a big, big kudos along with all of our sponsors this year who really helped us put this thing on. So thank you all very much. Okay. Hi, I'm Anthony Mill with Grace County High School. Uh, as far as today's race, we just got a good look at where our girls are. Uh, for the year, we've we got a young team, We're mostly freshmen with two uh, juniors. It looked to be pretty strong by the end of the season, although it is short in, se short in season that it, uh, it looked to be uh, that will turn out to be pretty good. At least that's what we're hoping. <laughs> but uh, with the, what's going on this year, we we'll just have to take each week as we go. But we look for a good season for our girls. Boys, uh, we're returning everybody but one from last year's uh, third place regional team. Uh, we're a little behind pace now because, again, because of COVID, but we hope to be uh, finishing pretty strong by the, by the end of the season. So we're looking forward to a good season for our boys also. Hello, I'm Patty Rouse. I'm a KHSA high school official here at uh, Fairground Frenzy at Central Harden High School. Uh, we are following protocol with what KHSA has put out. Uh, no check-ins at the starting line, no runouts. Um, we are given a whistle with one minute to go for the athletes to remove their mask. And then they stand on the line and wait for the gun. Um, so that part is a lot different than uh, normal. They are run, running a shorter distance today. They're running 2,500 meters uh, for the varsity races. So uh, the first two races, or the first two waves went really well. We just started the boys varsity wave one. We have three waves in the varsity boys. Um, the spectators, um, they're all in compliance. We're having to wear masks the whole time we're out here. The only time you'll see them with their mask off is if one of the kids is changing clothes or something like that, putting their race shirts on. But so far, so good today. Um, takes a lot of preparation. Uh, I know the coaches at Central Horton's been out here hour, hours on top of hours this week, trying to make sure everything is a go. I was here at 6.30 this morning helping do temperature check-ins. All our volunteers, including myself and all the coaches we've had, done our temperature check and uh, signed a paper. Uh, so we're doing what we can. It's just uh, a blessing that the athletes are getting to compete today. Hey, I'm uh, Jack Brunig with the uh, E-Town Cross Country uh, at the Fairground Frenzy. Um, we're just, we're excited to be able to run. Uh, it's our first meet of the year. Um, uh, so we're just, we're just we're excited. We've been practicing all summer and uh, it's good for the kids to get out and compete and run against some other kids. Um, so far, we've ran the girls' varsity and the boys' varsity, and um, you know, um, had a Emma Musgrave and Alyssa Jones and uh, Madeline Addison ran the varsity girls' race. They all three ran great, and then the boys. I'm real proud of how the boys came in, uh, came in close together, and that's what you want. Um, and uh, but uh, boys that we had run was uh, uh, Jack Logan and Anthony Bowen were the first couple, and then followed by. Logan Helton, um, uh, Kai Murray, uh, Lance Logan, and then Alex Curto all came right after the, those first three. So it uh, looked good for us. We're excited. We're going to Greenwood next week and um, just want to keep this season rolling. Uh, I'm Brian Johnson, uh, cross country coach. This is Evan Shea. He's uh, assistant coach. And uh, this year, uh, with uh, COVID restrictions coming from Dodia, our sports, uh, other sports were suspended. Uh, but uh, we can still do cross country. So here we are out here at the first meet of the year, having a great time. Uh, kids are excited. We got a big team this year because we got a lot of soccer players and football players and volleyball players. And, uh, and the kids are excited and uh, we're having a great time so far. And they're really improving. 
and uh, we're really looking forward to uh, to doing well this year. Coach Vogel, we got a lot of new guys this year, lost a lot of talent last year, but they've put some serious miles in this summer with all our uh, endurance that we've got. So we're looking forward to a great season. Hi, Larry Garner, head coach of Meade County. I'm just pumped to be here today. It's been a long time since March 13th and everything got shut down. And Coach Pennington has had to work his rear end off to get this meet going. And so I'm just more thankful than anything that he put this on for us and gives us a chance to come out here and race someone with a different jersey. I'm Samuel Bennett, a senior at Central Harden High School, and I plan to do my best for God today and to honor him, even though the conditions are going to be a little bit different. Marcus Abel, I'm a senior, and I come out here to set a new PR, and hopefully we'll pull up these guys. My name is Ari Brelig, I'm a senior, and I came out here to beat Marcus Abel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Eli Cron, I'm a senior at Central, and I just plan to run my hardest today. I'm Logan Schrock, I'm a senior at Central, and I plan on not getting hurt today. <laughs> I'm Tyler Payne, I'm a freshman, and I plan on breaking my 2,500 meter time. Uh, I'm Max Belkern, I'm a senior, and uh, I'm planning on uh, keeping up with those guys over there. So. <laughs> my name's Cole Richardson, I'm a freshman, and my goal is to not get last. <laughs> my name is Jared Fairbanks, and I'm an eighth grader at East Harden High School, and my goal is just to get a PR today. My name is Daniel Grade 11. Go! You can be the best. Good and job, Daniel. Grade 10. <laughs> Goal. Sit to do well. My name is Riley Baird. I'm a senior, and my goal is to just do my best today. <laughs> my name is Brendan Nagel. I'm a freshman, and my goal is to beat nine minutes. Good for you. My name is Dalton Smith. I'm a 10th grader. My goal is not to be last. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Charlie Tucker. I'm a junior, and I'm trying to get first. Well, yeah. I'm Jacob Dugan, I'm a junior, and I'm trying not to embarrass myself today. <laughs> today. Lucas Spawn, 10th grade, plays really well. Duke Wilson, sophomore, get out and go hard. Roman Gonzalez, 11th grade, just run fast. Jace Cowman, 12th grade, just do as well as I can. Practice my I am junior, just run fast. 
Sean Schwartz, senior, run fast. Kaiser Burnett, senior, go out as hard as I can and I guess do good. My name is Logan Helton. I'm a junior at E-Town High School, and I did pretty good today. Uh, my name is Anthony Boyd. Uh, I'm a senior, and I did uh, awesome today. <laughs> my name is Kai Murray. I'm a senior, and I think I did pretty good today. I'm Alex Curto. I'm a sophomore, and I think I did pretty well. No. I'm Nance Logan. I'm a freshman, and I feel like I did pretty well today. I'm Jack Logan. I'm a senior at E-Town High School. And today's run was good. It was, it was pretty hard, but I'm just glad to compete. Glad to be able to run again. A few fellow boys out here putting in work and training's really paying off.
Booth, uh, JV Central Harden coach. And I've got some results here of our first three races. Our girls varsity winner, our individual who came in first place was Riley Johnson. Um, top team was South Warren and second place team is Taylor County. Our boys varsity winner, Sam Bennett, Central Harden. And team, uh, first team that came in was South Warren, second team, Meade County. We've got results for our JV girls. We're waiting on the boys' results. Uh, South Warren, Hannah Gardner came in first place. And then Central Harden was our first team. And Fort Knox came in second. Hey everyone, this is uh, Tim Pennington with Central Harden. I uh, wanted to let you guys know we're going to have another race out here on October the 3rd. Uh, we're probably still going to have COVID restrictions in place, but I just want to let you know what's going on. October the 3rd, we're going to have the Ryan Snellen meet going on. And that is... Uh, we're going to have lots of, lots of the same teams here that several of them already signed up and everything. But with these, it's a way that we honor Ryan Snellen. He was our first, first Hall of Famer at Central Harden in the running and athletics out of our athletic department for running. So we, we want to promote that with him every year. And that's been, a, that's been a mainstay. But typically, we've been doing these on campus this year with the COVID. We moved it off campus. That way, we have more separation of everybody. It still will be a smaller meet. It's going to be smaller than this one, but you know the whole thing about it is we come out, we have a little fun, and uh, it should be still a good day of racing. There's going to be a little bit more limitations on the on the size of the of the meet, people in the in the contest and everything. But at that point, we also can go up at a little bit of distance as well. So we're probably looking at we'll be racing 3,200 meters that day instead of 2,500 for the high school and middle school. So it should be a great day of racing. Hopefully the weather cooperates with us. But like I said, this is one of the best venues we got in this area for cross country. So happy that we're out here and we got a partnership with the Hardin County Fairgrounds.